If you're looking to improve or stimulate your brain health, here are six tips for better brain health. Okay, tip number one is balance your blood pressure levels. Now, one of the best and easiest ways to do this is to get more natural sunlight exposure. And what that does is it helps to bring your blood flow to the surface of your skin, helping to increase nitric oxide in your blood vessels, helping to dilate those blood vessels for that better blood flow, and that helps with your brain health. Okay, tip number two is is to balance your blood sugar levels. Now, this ties into leptin signaling and your insulin signaling as well. And there's something called leptin resistance. If you haven't seen my other videos on that, please check them out. And how this is tied into that insulin resistance as well. So if you struggle with your blood glucose levels, this is all tied. And this is something that, again, getting more natural sunlight exposure outdoors in natural light, full spectrum light, very important for your brain health. Okay, tip number three is to optimize your vitamin K2 levels. Now, for a lot of us, that means actually taking a high quality supplement. It can be difficult to get enough vitamin K2 from dietary sources, especially if we're not always eating grass fed. And if you're a vegetarian, perhaps you're not getting that active K2. Number four on my list is optimize your vitamin D levels. Now, again, natural sunlight exposure, that UV from the sun on your skin will help your body to make that active form of your vitamin D. Some people do need to supplement. So again, making sure that you are optimizing your own levels becomes very important. Number five on my list for better brain health is to make sure you're getting enough magnesium. So eating more seafood can be a great way to get more magnesium naturally into your diet. But I find a lot of people actually do need to supplement with a high quality magnesium. And there's a lot of different types of magnesium out there. Just make sure that the one that you are taking does not contain magnesium stearate. My preferred type to take is actually magnesium bisglycinate without that magnesium stearate, which remember is a flow agent. I have other videos on that, so check it out. And number six on my list is to get enough DHA. So that important omega-3 fatty acid found in foods like seafood, lamb. Some people do need though to supplement with a DHA and making sure that if it is a fish oil supplement, it has a higher skew of that DHA to the EPA ratio to really feed your brain with the food, that DHA that it needs. Now to learn more about the best fish oil supplements. I have a video about this. I want you to learn more here. The best fish oil supplements have this. I'll see you there.